Nowadays, ignorant uh, people cut down spiritual trees. They claim that their destinies are tied down. Very funny. <laughs> Very bizarre. Yes. We see it happen now. Don't they video it when they come in the name of fire, family liberation? They, they video it now when they are doing their, their, their shenanigan, saying they are bringing it down. Claiming that the spiritual tree have their destiny tied down in those trees. Let me ask, how? How? How was it? <laughs> oh, so, so, you see why Africa is mocked. You see why Ndibu, eh? It was a for being uh, very uh, superstitious. Eh? So let me ask this question. Since the campaign of pastors from uh, Christian religion, since they, they are, we are campaigning to cut down all these natural spiritual trees and that is endowed with natural spiritual powers, how many of the people involved? Eh? How many of the people involved or set free by that uh, falsehood? Have made tremendous or extraordinary progress. Can you what? They told you you are tied down, your destiny was tied down in that tree. Then you bring your pastor after cutting down the tree. You still continue to be in that same problem or that zone. You continue to experience that same challenges of not making progress. So, who is now responsible for what is happening to you? After the tree has been cut down. And you, you saw it with your, your two naked eyes. Let me use a Nigerian slang. You saw it with your kuru kuru eyes. Still, after shouting fire, 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 fire. Yes. You are still stagnant. You are still in that same position. You are still experiencing those setbacks. You are still retrogressing. Eh? Huh? You still experience those blockages. So who is now responsible for that problem after you have finished cutting down the innocent tree? Let me ask. Huh? <laughs> oh. Have you made that progress? Well, if in reality, these trees have tied down their destinies and no one believes in cutting them now, they would have been set free. Well, <laughs> it is not so because ignorance played a major role in this uh, adventure. The world has gone green globally. Yes. Programs about climate change. We hear it uh, being broadcasted on the radio. We see the advert on the TV. The sensitization is on. It stares us in the face why some sleeping people are bent on destroying natural habitats that could serve as a shade, you know, as a place of tourist attraction and economic importance that will bring development and we also grow their uh, GDP. Gross uh, domestic product, you know, as a village or a town or a city, if the natural values of these spiritual trees have been properly harnessed. No, they won't do that. They'll go around cutting trees, saying it's responsible for their problem. Let us continue to protect these natural trees. I will urge you today. Eh, I did be a one good I'm telling you to continue to protect your spiritual trees from being mowed down by people who have been brainwashed, people who 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 hide behind religion, you know, to cause destruction. All right? Let us safeguard these trees. Let's protect those trees. It is better to demarcate, you know, create uh, physical boundaries. 
All right? These boundaries, they can serve as a protection. You protect them and clothe their nakedness spiritually, all right? By using piece of clothes, it could be white in color or yellow or red to create spiritual awareness. You know, to set boundaries so that overzealous followers of imported religion will not continue destroying nature's gift to mankind. This overzealousness. Why has it led you to? Instead of being productive, you stay back in churches. Shouting, I receive it. I claim it. The time you used to, you know, work and earn a living, you spend it in churches. Spending seven days, 14 days, without going out to work. You are looking for, I don't know, magic to happen. When people are thinking about development, People are thinking about how to be useful to the society. Learning one skill or the other. You are there in church. Shouting, I receive it. I claim it. I bind it. I cast it. I decree. <laughs> Please, let's stop being overzealous. Let's differentiate between right and wrong. It's very wrong of you not to use your God-given brain. What's that brain? You are not using it. It's always idle. You are always sitting in one place, shouting, I receive it, I claim it. Oh, sorry. You are inviting poverty into your life. You are becoming less productive. You are becoming a liability. So let us keep away. Let's stop destroying nature's gift to mankind. We do not need to look outside in baseless comparisons and utter disregard for our spiritual trees and the natural resources. So we have to place value on nature's gift to us. That is what Dibya Wang is saying. Because Ojuku tree has its own spiritual efficacies. Let me list them out. Number one, it is a sacred spiritual tree, a spiritual warrior and protector for the choosing ones. This is why it is deified. This is why it is accorded respect physically and spiritually. Number two, the oil extract is used to neutralize any type of poison, including the one buried inside the ground. That is why you see most people, they pour that aqua juku on the ground, on the soil, where they feel that uh, uh, any charm or poison is buried. Now, juku will swing into action and neutralize those poisons. Number three, it is used to uh, in doing back to sender spiritual works against any spiritual attack. Eh? That is back to sender spiritual work against any spiritual attack. If they fire any evil arrow against you, I want to tell you this minor uh, uh, importance of it. Not minor like that. It is a major one. But I want you to know, even if you are no fake, you should know it today. Number four, one can stand before it and petition the enemy. Eh? See your intention there. Number five, the seeds are used for protection against accident. Assuming you are traveling now, you are traveling out to a far place. You can put some seeds of Ojuku palm nut in your pocket. Hmm? It is natural odishi, natural protection against anything evil. Against any negativity, negative aura, negative vibe, negative vibration, negative genes, negative anything negative. Number six, it is used in healing various sicknesses. There is nothing that is prepared as a form of uh, uh, concussion. You might call it concussion 
or have a remedy against poison that you will not see that akujuku in it. Yes, it is used in healing. So many sicknesses, all right? It is also highly medicinal and contain nutrients that cure many ailments. For example, eye problem. Because just chewing the nut naturally like that, it clears your vision. When you eat it as a fruit, the palm nut, ujuku, aku ujuku, etanya, ona asa chanya. Munyegi nutrient yawa, gemanya, you are strong. Your vision will be very, very clear. The oil also cures convulsion. Yes. Manuakujuku. Especially as little babies, when they are growing, if you ever expose them to the cold, it might lead to convulsion. You keep it at home as a quick remedy. Take it, rub it very fast on the child's body to stop convulsion. The brooms made from it stops and dispels witchcraft projection. Mane is your boy from Mwaka Nene. Ke mankai, mankoso. Eh? Nyabwa, eh, eh, aku ojuku. Eh, pocha pitea. Wwe kenya, kuku aziza. Obukudu ne ijiri aza chuno. Bwabi ene bele na arwaja. Nunogi. Don't you see some people that tie broom to their doorpost? E mali hana alona mua. The palm fronds are squeezed with water, then used for spiritual baths or spiritual cleansing. Or you can even take it in little quantity to drink to make somebody vomit. It's an antidote. Antidote against spiritual poison. You know? Once you ingest it, a boshi shiva, even one bro, even lola lo de rini maro. Maro, the palm front, a ronya ro, rotianya no. Squeeze it properly with water. Eji a socho. Yes. Eji a poor rakun. So for you to know, the spiritual efficacies, the spiritual importance of the Ujuku tree. It is very, very good once you know this today. It also has economic importance. All right? Aku Ujuku has economic importance. It can be used in making polish. It is used, not it can. Most of this polish that you see them, kiwi, eh? it is made using this aku ojuku. The palm front from ojuku tree is used in making brooms. If you don't know, know it today, because of this generation of eagles that don't come home or visit the village, they might not know this. But I hope listening to my voice today, you will know how brooms are made. Alright? That palm front from the Ojuku tree. It is used in making brooms. It also serves as a wind breaker. You see, if it, when you see it clustered or in multitude, And you know that uh, plants give out uh, oxygen when you breathe in and you breathe out. All right? Carbon dioxide. I'm not yet to teach science, but I want you to know. So it is used in making uh, either black oil or yellow oil it depends on how it is bleached you know when the palm nut is processed you, the method of uh, processing it determines whether the oil will be black 
the oil extracted from it, whether it will be black in color or whether it will be translucent. Yes, let me use that word, translucent. So it depends on the method used in processing it, processing the palm nut. Our oju wood is used in making antidotes against poisoning, poison and charm. It is an antidote. Know it today. The seeds are edible and you can eat it as snacks. I remember those days that uh, when I was growing up, most times, uh, if our mother doesn't come back on time, we'll hunt for this palm nut. It might be Ujuku, it might be the, the other palm nut. We'll bring it and shell it. We'll use stone and de shell it, all right? They collect the nutty fruit inside. And then we get Gary. I mix it with Gary pour water, you know. That is our <laughs> quick snack. Very delicious. Or if you combine it with uh, uh, the breadfruit. It's very delicious. So it's a snack because the seeds are edible. When the twigs are burnt, we get ash. You get ash. Used in making abacha and uh, other food stuffs. You know? That ngu eji agwa abacha. What um, people call African salad. I would encourage you to call it African salad. Abacha, bo abacha. Abacha is abacha. Abacha wala wo. Rather than you renaming it. Because other people, pizza, do you rename it? Is, it, is pizza not answering its indigenous name? What about taco? Is it not answering its indigenous name? So why do we Igbos always stoop, you know, to rename whatever that is indigenous to us? You have to be proud of your originality. That is what I'm saying. You have to be proud. Now, this ash, you can also use it spiritually when you want to take spiritual bath. When you want to do some cleansing. As you go to bed, you, you take a pinch of ash ash and drop it inside the water and make some uh, declarations all right i don't want to go deep please also fens fen it grows around the juku tree and these fens they are used to cure high blood pressure and diabetes if you are gifted in herbalism if you are a holistic doctor that use herbs, you know, these leaves, plants, to cure people for healing. Fen also is spiritual. You get some of these fens, you soak it in water, maybe for like four or seven days, and you bat with it. It's highly spiritual. And it's used as a cleansing ingredient. For spiritual cleansing, all right? The oil extracted is used in making cosmetics. A lot of our cosmetics, I mean the natural ones, like lipstick, soap, body or hair cream. You know, oil is extracted from this palm nut, palm tree, from Ujuku, is used in making cosmetics. So for the natural ones, yes, it doesn't have harmful chemicals in it. But I can't uh, <laughs> justify the, the, the company that produces cosmetics that uh, really they use uh, Akuojuku. You know, it depends. But I'm trying to tell you that the oil extract is used in making cosmetics. Then also, baskets are made, you know, locally woven uh, baskets. They are made using the Ojuku palm from. Eh, aquala from that palm tree, from that palm frond that comes from the palm tree, yes. It is used to weave baskets, beautiful 
basket with intricate designs. You can color it or you, you leave it raw. So these baskets are also useful. You use it for shopping, in shopping, for decoration. Some of these baskets are used in carrying out spiritual sacrifice. Instead of dating our water, our environment with plastics, you can also use the basket, locally woven basket. The small type, each I wap waja, a job one uke. Eh? A job, a job you know? You get this basket, this local made basket. They are made from uh, Ujuku tree. So you should know the economic importance and also the spiritual importance. I want to dis uh, demystify Aku Ojuku, the Ojuku tree for you today, so that you will know. No balezubo tulu, no dile. Both spiritually and physically. So also, you that have that uh, Ujuku tree, maybe you care so much for the economic importance. You know, when you sell all these products made from this uh, Akujuku, you make money from it. Yes. So therefore, Akujuku naturally enriches you when you make judicious use of it. When it is sold, one makes money. When the product gotten from Ujuku tree is sold, you make money. Then animals too, it's a feed for, from nature. Animals eat the palm fronds as food. When it's very, very fresh, some when it's dry, you know, goats, you know, sheep, they snack on it. It nourishes them, you know. You know, when they eat this natural food or the natural palm fronds, your animals, they don't suffer from stomach ache. They don't suffer from any kind of uh, livestock disease. You know, they grow up healthy. Yes. It also cures uh, skin infections on humans. There are types of skin infection that you have. You use, uh, you apply the ujuku palm oil on it for it to heal up. It might be that you have a dry, scaly skin. It might be as a result of a spiritual arrow. Once you are applying it gradually, the spot or the scar it causes on your skin will fade off. Or it will make anything that looks like scale on your body to fall off. It cures ringworm, alright? And a whole lot of um, other skin infections on humans. Then the oil itself is used in cooking. If you don't use it as an oil to neutralize charm, you know, you also use it in cooking. It is healthy. You know what oil contains now? It's a healthy oil too. Both for humans. So the spiritual efficacy is there. The economic importance is also there. Is of value, immense value. I wouldn't know why people go around cutting trees. Like, all right, where well, the um, erosion is disturbing. If you have all these trees there, it will stop the soil from eroding. So I'm very, very thankful that today people are waking up to see that these trees are harmless. They are nature's gift to mankind. Because when you talk about Odinani, Odinani is all about veneration of nature. Man being in good terms with nature, with his own spirituality. Just as the way Chineke has blessed us with, it, with them. When you talk about earth, on earth, we are, what do you see? You see plants. You see herbs, you see fruit, all right? We talk about sand, trees. They are all from nature. 
and nature will not be happy with us if we continuously hurt them, if we continuously cut them down. That is why you see some herbalists that know uh, what they are doing. You know, they are working herbalists too. Before they take anything from a tree, they have to talk to the tree. They have to talk to the plant. If it's a herb, they have to talk to it. Sometimes they knock before talking to the tree. You tell the tree, we go up all Lord in an Akebia Lelo. Adam, Pawee, and Babuogi, or Babuogi Nankete. Manoki, be a law Lord in an. You accord respect. There are some instances that some of these Dibian Pologun and Pawee, they drop money, coins, for the tree. They drop it at the base of the tree or the plant before uh, plucking off some part of it for them to be able to use it to heal, you know, to do spiritual work. So it all depends. Let us respect nature. And you see that the Dibya that is in tune or that is uh, aligned spiritually will always be conscious of what they are doing. But some that are not conscious will just go straight to the tree and, and start plucking it, yanking it, you know, cutting, macheting it without taking permission, without acknowledging the tree, without paying obeisance, you know. I always say that the things we do here are 99% spiritual and just 1% physical. Just like that physically. Before manifest here. Yes. And then me fem mo. Uchany dia. Let us be spiritually conscious. If you don't know that Osisi Ojuku, no bo sisi mo. I have, you know, done justice to this topic that. Anywhere you see Akwojuku, you can be able to say something about it. You can be able to know the spiritual values it has and also the economic values. So many items are extracted from this Akwojuku. Is it broom? Ash, what we call ngu, uh, ngu. Yellow oil or black oil. That is a mana Akwojuku. Medicine, all right? When you use it to heal people, yes, it becomes medicine. Fruit. The nut itself is a fruit. The nut itself is a, a, a snack. Black oil. You get palm fronds that uh, you, 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 you use in weaving your basket, all right? When you snack on the nut, you know, to cure you of any ailment, it has vitamins. The one that is for healing, man, the one any eye problem. It has vitamins. You can equally make hand fan akupe, eh, from akuojuku using the gene palm frond. All right. If you have that gift, you can weave that hand fan. The fan leaves there is used for healing. All right. You weave baskets. It is gotten from the same Ojuku tree. And also your black oil and so many other things. When you manufacture your mpanaka, you know this handheld uh, local lamp oil. So it's very, very beneficial for mankind. So today we are rounding up because uh, I have done justice to this topic. The Ojuku tree. It's very mighty and a powerful spiritual tree. Know that today. If you are called to serve, find out your spiritual trees. It will help you know your area of specialization. Now, if there are things that, uh, are, very, that are very confusing to you, feel free to reach out to me on my page, Dibian Wangu Uchendo. Or you visit my YouTube channel, Dibia Wangu Chendo. Please call your friends. Let them subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Or you can contact or communicate with me directly via ADN Radio New York. I will always be there to answer your questions. And I hope you enjoy today's topic. 
is bye from Dibya Wangu Chendo. Thank you for listening and please apply what I taught you today.